Greetings to beloved Prophet Samuel Gadebe. It is nice to see you again, even though we have to meet by video. I send my wishes for the advancement of the Heavenly Africa Interreligious Association and the Revelation Church of God of Heavenly Parents Holy Community. Also may the blessings of Heavenly Parent and True Parents be with all the brothers and sisters of the Revelation Church of God. I hope that you will emerge victorious in this time when COVID-19 has infected more than 130 million and killed more than 2.8 million worldwide. In the Bible, in Amos 3, 7, it is written, Surely the Lord God does nothing without first revealing it to his prophets. But it is not easy, even for the prophets sent by heaven, to be recognized. Most prophets have not been welcomed, even in their own homelands. In the Old Testament age, the twelve minor prophets and the four major prophets, all prophets walked the path of suffering. Even Jesus, the only begotten Son, was not welcomed by the people of Israel and died on the cross because the people did not believe in him. Nevertheless, Prophet Samuel Radebe has not only delivered the revelation from heaven and created the foundation of a crowd of people who attend, trust, and follow him, but has also recognized the time of the second coming of the only begotten Son, Jesus, and has shown faith in, testified to, and attended his bride, the only begotten daughter, true mother. His message reaches beyond the borders of South Africa. It reaches beyond the whole continent of Africa. Now he is fulfilling his mission of testifying to and attending true parents throughout the whole world and cosmos. This has made it possible for the hymn to restore the mistakes of the prophets of the past in the world's long history. 2,000 years ago, when God sent Jesus, the only begotten Son, He prepared the prophet John the Baptist. John the Baptist was born miraculously to a priest, Zachariah, and his elderly wife, Elizabeth. He practiced an ascetic life, wearing a garment of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He subsisted on locusts and wild honey. People came from far and wide to be baptized by him. People believed that he was the Messiah they had been awaiting, and they followed him. In this way, John had created a foundation for the Messiah, and Jesus went to John and was baptized in the Jordan River. The meaning of baptism is salvation, but what was the reason for Jesus who didn't need salvation to be baptized? The reason was to provide the chance for the prophet John the Baptist to recognize Jesus as the Messiah, believe in him, and testify to him. Finally, John the Baptist, the special prophet, baptized Jesus, and a voice from heaven said, This is my, this is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3, 17. If John had believed in Jesus and followed him immediately after that, he would have fulfilled his mission as a special prophet, and Jesus would have become the Lord of glory. However, although John testified to Jesus, he still had some doubt, so he didn't attend and follow him. When Jesus saw John the Baptist act in this way, he said, Truly I tell you, among the, those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Matthew chapter 11, 11. Members of the Revelation Church of God of Heavenly Parents Holy Community, but Prophet Samuel Radebe gained the victory. This is because he not only testified to the only begotten daughter of Heavenly Parent, true mother and to true parents, but he also believes in them and enshrines them with an unchanging heart, and he has an influence on the world beyond heavenly Africa. In that respect, John the Baptist, who testified to Jesus, came to a miserable end by not believing in him and serving him. However, Prophet Samuel Radebe triumphed in the mission of trusting, witnessing, and serving true mother, the only begotten daughter of heavenly parent. Therefore, true mother loves the true prophet Samuel Radebe so deeply. Therefore, I hope that he will be registered in H.J. Chonwon Chumbawan and that has his name will be remembered eternally and praised for thousands of years. 
We want to see his family registered as Chonbo family, as true citizens of Chon Ilguk. Hyojong Chonbo works are an essential part of this process. Therefore, at this time, I would like to give you a message to help you understand Hyojong Chonbo works. According to the principle of creation, Heavenly Parents exist as a being of dual characteristics and created human with an invisible substantial mind and a visible substantial body so that we would resemble our Heavenly Parent. As we contain the substance of these two worlds, we could be called microcosms of the universe. In this world, human beings who resemble the image of Heavenly Parent were created to stand as a subject of the spiritual and physical worlds. We were created to be the bridge connecting the two worlds and the center of the harmony of the two worlds. Since we were created to have a value equal to the cosmos, embodying the harmonized substance of both worlds, Heavenly Parent created Adam and Eve with this kind of remarkable value and gave them three great blessings. They were to complete their portion of responsibility during the growing period and mature their character, become true couples through the marriage blessing and become true parents by giving birth to true children and have dominion over all things. Later, when they would shed their body and return to the spirit world that trans time and space, they would enjoy eternal life as spirit body. However, however, for Adam and Eve to reach perfection, perfection as individuals, they had to complete their portion of responsibility during the growing period. In Genesis 2.17 it is written, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. However, Adam and Eve were tempted by Satan and corrupted by self-centered greed and became connected to the devil. Instead of keeping their place as God's sons and daughters, they became sons and daughters of the fallen angel, the devil. After that, all the descendants of Adam and Eve have inherited original sin, hereditary sin, and collective sin, and also committed their own personal sins. This is what led Jesus to say that the non-believing people of Israel belonged to their father, the devil, John 8.44, and that they were brood of vipers, Matthew 3.7. In that case, what do we have to do to return to the world of the original ideal? Because all people were born into the wrong realm through Adam and Eve, who fell in the Garden of Eden, they must be reborn in the restored Garden of Eden through the restored Adam and Eve, true parents. The core of Heavenly Parents' principle of restoration is the work of restoration through indemnity to find the only begotten son, the next Adam, and the only begotten daughter, the next Eve. This means we can view the providence of restoration as the providence to find the true filial son and true filial daughter. 1600 years after the fall of Adam, Heavenly Parent found Noah. However, due to Ham's failure to trust Noah, the providence was extended, and 2,000 years later, Heavenly Parent found Abraham, who was ready to follow his faith in God with more absolute trust than he had for his own father, and Isaac, who had absolutely filial devotion toward his father, and Jacob, who absolutely cooperated with his mother and brought victory over Satan. This is why Heavenly Parent is referred to in Bible as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then, among the Jacob's twelve sons, Judah allowed himself to be made a slave to take on the sins his half-brother Benjamin, which made it possible for the youngest brother Joseph to forgive his brothers for their sins and unite with them to attend their parents. Therefore, expanding the precious lineage of Judah, and after it was further purified through the providence of indemnity, it was the lineage into which the Messiah could be born without original sin. 
The only begotten Son, Jesus, who was born after a wait of 4,000 years, was hung on the cross and died due to the disbelief of the people of Israel. However, because Heavenly Parent is an absolute being with an absolute will, the promise was made to send the Messiah again, and the world has been awaiting for the second coming of the only begotten Son, Jesus. The Christology chapter of divine principle explains how, when, and where Jesus will return. That place is precisely the nation of loyalty and filial piety, the nation which offers Chong Song, the nation of Korea. Heavenly Parent chose this nation and set up conditions of restoration through indemnity which led the Korean people to have the same kind of experiences of heart that Jesus had. Therefore, true parents have explained the situation of the Korean people. From long ago, the Korean people have served God with the sense that He is their original ancestor and that they are descended from heaven. They have maintained themselves over 5,000 years of history without once invading and plundering another nation or people. The spirit that they are to be a blessing to humanity flows in the veins of the Korean people. The spirit of filial piety, fidelity, and loyalty, which are fundamental virtues of human life, are alive and breathing in the Korean history. These values appear in the men and women of, of Korea and reflect the pride and spirit of the Korean people. The true filial piety exemplified in the folk tale of Shim Chung, a devoted daughter who, in the flower of her youth, offered her life so that her blind father could see again, is the standard of filial piety by which Koreans attend and serve their parents. The profound love and fidelity displayed by Chung Yang, who overcame the fear of death in order to keep the promise she had made to her husband with the same heart by which she re Revered heaven is a guidepost for Korean women in their lives. The unbreakable loyalty exhibited by Admiral Yi Shun Shen, who gave his life to save his nation and people despite his king and other leaders abandoning him, is the pride and spirit of the Korean people. These lofty Korean values and traditions did not appear out of the clear blue sky. God's providential hand raised these people based on these values. This was the providence to build a foundation to send the returning Messiah on the foundation of such preparation and riding on the spirit of the peninsula, I came, having received heaven's seals as a true parent of humankind and the king of kings. On the foundation created in Korea on January 6 by the lunar calendar in 1920, true father was born in Jongju, North Pyongyang province in Northern Korea and was called by God to a special providential mission during Easter week at the age of 16, including a meeting with Jesus, during which he inherited Jesus' mission. He spent the next 12 years of his young life walking a suffering path, seeking to uncover the fundamental principles of the universe. Finally, coming to understand the principle of creation, the course of the fall and the root of sin, the portion of responsibility for human beings and the providence of restoration, through indemnity. As Heavenly Parent was preparing for the returning Messiah, the only begotten Son meant to return to his, this earth. He was also uh, carrying out the province of sending the Messiah's partner, the only begotten daughter. Finally, after the birth of true father, a great spiritual movement took place on the Korean peninsula and the family of the true mother was chosen. True Mother was born in Anju, South Pyongyang, province in the northern part of Korea, on January 6 by the lunar calendar 1943, to a family of three generations of only daughters, her maternal grandmother, Cho Won Mo, who believed in and prepared for the birth of the returning Lord on the earth, Hong Sun A, Demonim, and True Mother. The very core of God's providence of salvation, that is the providence of restoration, was sending the true parents. That is why in Isaiah 9.6, the coming Messiah is called the Everlasting Father. However, because they failed to recognize and believe in Him, Jesus was hung on the cross and died. 
After his resurrection, he was able to stand as a spiritual true parent to his disciples and give them spiritual rebirth as his spiritual children. So those who believe in Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit can be reborn as adopted spiritual children. It is like being raised as an adopted child by a single parent who never married. So the Apostle Paul and the others who received the Holy Spirit received rebirth as adopted children. That is why in Matthew 16, 27, Jesus promised to come again in his Father's glory and why, when the Apostle John was exiled to Patmos Island, he prayed so much that his knees became stiff like the knees of a camel and then received the revelation to prepare for the second coming, which he recorded in the book of Revelation. In the revelation of John, the marriage supper of the Lamb is described. In Revelation 19, 7 to 8, it says, Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready, clothed in fine linen. And in Revelation 21, 9, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Revelation 22, 17 tells us, The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who is thirsty come, let him who desires take the water of life without price. Devout Christians have been hanging onto these words, waiting for the day that is worth a thousand years, the day of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Heaven has kept this promise. 